Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of astronomy to explore Kepler's third law in relation to the outer planets. This law formulated by the famous astronomer Johannes Kepler provides us with a deeper understanding of the motion and orbits of celestial bodies. According to this law, the square of the orbital period of a planet is directly proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit. In simpler terms, it relates the time it takes for a planet to orbit the sun to its average distance from the sun. The fundamental principle allows astronomers to make precise calculation about the motion of planets in our solar system. When we apply Kepler's third law to the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, we can see how their orbital periods and distances from the sun are interconnected. For example, Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has a relatively short orbital period due to its closer proximity to the sun compared to the Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. This law not only helps us understand the dynamic of these outer planets but also provides valuable insight into their unique characteristics and behaviors. Beyond its theoretical significance, Kepler's third law has practical implications in the field of space exploration and satellite missions. By utilizing the principle of this law, scientists and engineers can accurately predict the trajectories of spacecraft and satellites orbit around their planets. This knowledge is crucial for planning and execution complex missions to study the outer planets and their moons contributing to our expanding knowledge of the cosmos. In conclusion, Kepler's third law plays a crucial role in our understanding of the outer planets in our solar system. The concept calculations derived from this law helps us unravel the mysteries of these distant worlds and guide us in our exploration of the universe. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.